So this is definitely a video that I really did not expect to be making. Now for the people that remember the last time I spoke about the person that we are looking at today, you guys literally deserve a medal because I made a video called the biggest clickbait of Roblox Lover 69 and the reason you deserve a medal if you remember when I made that video is because it was in July 2018 which obviously was way over a year ago and like I said I absolutely did not expect to be making another video on this person and especially considering they slowed down with the uploading to the Roblox Lover 69 channel and I honestly forgot about this person up until recently when someone sent me a link on Discord and that link was to a fairly new channel but this channel seems to be uploading three to four times a day and along with this link the same person told me that they are pretty certain that Alisthea is Roblox Lover 69 so of course there is no sure way that we can actually prove this but I think the biggest things that give it away would be this person's voice sounding pretty much identical to Roblox Roblox Lover 69 and the day that they stopped uploading on Roblox Lover 69 they began uploading on Elisthea. And the final thing is the intro to this video. Hey what's up guys it's from... Hey <laughs> I'm like at least 90% sure that they almost said hey what's up guys it's Roblox Lover 69 and like I've said many times before before we go any further into this video I, I just want to make it perfectly clear that I absolutely do not condone hating on someone for no reason or literally anything along those lines so please do not go and find this person or this channel with the intention to leave them here or to harass them or anything like that there is just no need for it and if you do it I don't necessarily like you so I think that's a good enough reason not to but yeah on this new Alistia channel it seems like the only content is created on Adopt Me which you know kind of makes a lot of sense if you are wanting a new Roblox channel to get attention. The way forward is to play the most popular game on the website but as you may remember Roblox Lover 69 was known mostly for clickbait or even misleading videos which is absolutely not the way to do things by the way but anyway taking a look at this new Alistia channel the first video that caught my attention was my dad said he will give me a real puppy if I I get a neon dog in adopt me like can you imagine if your parents actually just came up to you and was like get a rare pet in this roblox game and we'll get you a puppy in real life i i really would like to see how this guy comes up with these ideas ruby Ruby, what are you doing? I'm playing Roblox, what do you want? So it seems like this new channel is pretty much just the same format as the Roblox Lover 69 videos. He kind of just makes up these scenarios and role plays them with himself. Ruby, didn't I tell you to go and clean up your bedroom? Why are you still playing that stupid game? Oh wow, so right now the dad thinks that Roblox is a stupid game, but according to the title, he somehow cares about Roblox so much that he would actually trade a real life puppy for a Roblox puppy. Oh my god dad, the game's not stupid. I've got a dog. The game isn't stupid. Look, I have a dog in the game. I mean, if that logic isn't perfect, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Having a dog in a game automatically makes it a good game. That's just kind of how it works. Dad, can I have a dog? Ruby, I'm not buying you a dog. I've already spent 200 pounds on Robux. So he spent £200 on Robux, which is around $260. But the real question I would like to ask is, was the Robux for his daughter or was the Robux for himself? Because once again, taking a look at that title, this man absolutely loves Roblox. And I doubt there's many parents out there that willingly spend $300 on Roblox money. Can I please get a Labrador dance? I'm not buying you a Labrador. <laughs> Oh my god, get out of my room, I'm so angry. I just have to mention real quick that this acting is top quality and the film in the background is obviously based on a very high budget. She literally said, get out of my room, I'm so angry in probably the least angry voice I have ever heard. Hey buddy, you wanna go for a walk? One second. He is literally even doing acting for the dog. This person is not only role playing with himself as a father and a daughter, but also as a man and his dog. Ruby, listen. I'll give you a puppy on one condition. I literally have to mention right now that I'm skipping through quite a lot of this video. Most of it is either incredibly weird or just really, really pointless. Like he literally just stood and watched his dog sleep for like 30 seconds. If you get a neon dog, I'll give you a real puppy. You know, I'm still struggling to understand how he came up with the roleplay for this. In what world would a parent actually trade their child a rare Roblox dog for a real life dog? You know, I, I guess besides the very strange worlds that this guy seems to be creating. Well, Ruby, 
You have to show me you can be responsible. Okay, so let me get this straight. The dad is literally having his child show that she is responsible enough to own a real living and breathing dog by raising a dog in Roblox Adopt Me. I just really don't understand the logic behind this and even worse, who is watching and liking this? He keeps on barking. <laughs> I mean, the next two minutes of the video was literally just the daughter complaining about how she hates her dad, you know, for making her get a neon dog because it takes a long time and she's too lazy to do it. Oh my God, she's coming back. Jenny, are you okay? Um, can, can I have your dog? Who just asks that? Like, it's nothing. Like, imagine seeing a dog that you really like in the street and you just walk up to the owner and ask if you can have it because they are definitely 100% going to say yes. Oh no, I don't mean to keep. I mean to just, you know, bother it for a few minutes. Oh my God, the plot to this story is thickening. I, I can't believe what I am seeing. She is about to scam this man just so she can get a puppy in real life. Are you a scammer? A scammer? Don't you insult me! I'm not a scammer! See, that's exactly what I just said. She tried to scam this poor guy who was just trying to take his Roblox dog for its daily walk. I'm going to give him an illness. If I'm being honest, I just spent five minutes laughing at this. I really should not be laughing at something like this, and especially not that much. I love how we were just thinking she's going to scam him, but no. She just casually says that she's going to give him diseases so she can steal his dog. I've had this sandwich in my inventory for two weeks now. It's definitely rotten. She is literally plotting to poison a man. All I can think when watching these videos is what must be going through this guy's head. This is the most insane story plot I think I've ever come across. And the fact that he's playing as literally every character in the story and even the dog. Here, take it. <laughs> if that just isn't the creepiest laugh you have ever heard, that laugh alone would be enough for me to leave the game and never return. Um, um, <clears throat> I don't feel so good. <clears throat> Oh my god, this poor man is literally dying. In a matter of five seconds, a rotten sandwich has started to end his life. <laughs> it worked. She just spent like two minutes saying how she's a bad person for doing this and that she feels bad, but she is now creepy giggling at the thought of him becoming ill because of her. Jenny! Jenny! I'm, I'm sorry, was that a car engine starting? What did we actually just listen to? Okay, I'll give you my dog. Oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, this is it. We are watching a diseased man get scammed out of his rare Roblox dog. I just, I, I really never thought that that would be a sentence that I would ever say. Jenny, I, I know you're in here. Give me my, give me my dog back, please. He has literally been outside her house begging for his dog back for the last two minutes. Not only did she poison him to purposely make him ill, but she then stole his dog and she technically ended up scamming him anyway because she now will not give the dog back. What is it? I've got a neon dog. What? How did you get a neon dog so fast? You know, the real question is, how does the dad know how long it actually takes to get a neon dog on Roblox? At the start of the video, he was calling Roblox a stupid game and told her to stop playing it. I don't know, dog. I don't know, Dad. I worked really hard for it. He literally just messed up and laughed at himself messing up before correcting himself and then did not cut that out of the video. Like I previously mentioned, this video contains only the highest quality and high budget acting and filmmaking. Look, I'm responsible. Can we get a real puppy now, please? I find it incredibly ironic that she's saying how responsible she is whilst also holding the dog that she stole and not only that, but that same dog is saying saying how it's sick and needs a hospital, but instead of taking it to the hospital, she's just shaking it around. Jenny, open the door. Open the goddamn door, Jenny. That's my dog. Is, is, is this a new Panic at the Disco song or something? Haven't you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? Well, time to go. <laughs> And there we have it. We have reached the end of that video. Thank God is all I can really say. I honestly have absolutely no idea what we just watched. That is one of the strangest, if not the actual strangest video I think I have ever watched. I just, I just think every single aspect of the video was so weird. The fact that he was role playing with himself and only himself, the whole plot to the entire story and how her dad got her a 
real life puppy in exchange for a stolen neon puppy in Roblox. Even now, after like 30 minutes of going through this video, I, I still fail to fully understand what I just watched. And I would just like to formally apologize for making you guys watch that with me. But yeah, you know what? Once again, please do not go out of your way to send hate to this guy or to harass this guy. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of Roblox Lover 69 making his swift return. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.